Hey there, I'm Amy from thecrazycraftlady.com. Welcome back to week four in my 25 Crafts to Christmas countdown. Today we're crafting with paper napkins. So this is a cute little package of winter, so for winter, Christmas, whatever. It says winter wonderland. It's got a cute little owl on it and it's neutral. I love neutrals. Um, but do you ever see like a napkin or like a greeting card that has really pretty art on it and then it's like, oh, what a shame to like throw that away. Well, today we're going to use a paper napkin to make a really quick little Mod Podge craft for Christmas. Let's get making. All right, so you're going to start with a napkin that you like, a holiday paper napkin, anything will work. I just got this Winter Wonderland one because you know how I am about my neutrals. Um, so then you'd want to grab some wooden craft sticks, the large ones, and you just want to like line them up to kind of match the size of your paper napkin. So I just kind of laid it on top. Okay, that was perfect. And then take some like masking tape or really any type of tape and tape straight lines down the edges of your wooden craft sticks. And so you want the edges of the tape to kind of match like where the edges of the napkin are. And this way you can mark a line with your pencil so that you know where to cut so that effectively in the end, your little wooden sign is the same size as the napkin. So just mark those lines and then peel away the masking tape. And then I pulled out my uh, angle shears, but you can use um, heavy duty craft scissors, whatever you like. I'm really enjoying using the angle shears cutting popsicle sticks because then I get really precise angles. So a 90 degree angle on this one. And because you're using the jumbo size craft sticks and not just like the regular large ones, like these are the extra large ones, you have to kind of score the wood a few times. So I will cut on one side and then flip the stick over to the other side and cut it again until I can cut all the way through. So sometimes I only have to score it once or twice and sometimes I have to do it three times. But just keep going until all of your craft sticks are cut. And then it's time to assemble your sign. So I just put this cutting mat down to protect my work surface from the Mod Podge. But just line up all of your little craft sticks there. So I had seven. And then I just taped them in place and then I just cut the, or ripped the ends of the tape off. So you just tape them in place while you're Mod Podging, and then you'll add supports to the back later. So then it's time to take apart your napkin. So I just cut it. Like this one had the design like on all four panels. So I just cut one of the panels and then you'll want to peel away like just one ply of, you want like the absolute thinnest. So this was a three ply napkin. So I made sure to take two layers off the back. If you have a two ply napkin, you'll just take two, whatever. And then just use like a flat paintbrush and apply Mod Podge all over the front of your little wooden sign. And then once I had a good coat of Mod Podge on there, I very carefully lined up my napkin and smoothed it onto my little sign. So the way you smooth it is, and I use the same technique when I made my little um, napkin, uh, ornaments on wood rounds is you just lay saran wrap over top and then smooth it down with your fingers. So you can like just kind of use like you have the palm of your hand to flatten everything and then use your fingers to smooth out any bubbles as best as you can. And then peel away the plastic wrap and set that aside to dry. The Mod Podge uh, dries pretty quickly on this project so I went on and used my little wooden half like half balls of they're not wood beads they're just little half balls. And I like laid them out across the top and the bottom to determine how many I would need. And I think I needed 11 on the top and 11 on the bottom. So I used 22 in all. I've used these on a couple projects now and I really, really love them. So I will link to my source below. And then I just put all of them, all 22, into a plastic bag. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of tint the wood with paint. So the way you do that is you add a little bit of paint inside the plastic bag. Notice I put the paint on the plastic and not on the wood. And then I spritzed it with, I don't know, a dozen sprays of water. So I just keep a little spray bottle of water in my craft room, but you could just add a couple drops of water, whatever. And then smush everything together. This is actually kind of fun. It's like a sensory activity. Uh, smush everything together until all of the wood is evenly coated. And because you watered down the paint, it creates more of a stained effect and not an actually painted effect. 
and then dump everything out onto like a piece of scrap paper or a folder and then lay all of the half balls right side up to dry. Okay, so now it's time to very carefully cut slits in the napkin. So I used my little finger point blade and I just very carefully cut slits between each of the craft sticks. Be careful, because like right there, I like ripped the paper, didn't cut. So I found it actually easiest to like press up and down with the blade instead of like swiping it so much. And then you can bend the craft stick. So you see, this is why we did not put like the final backer on this mini sign here. I just had the tape. This way I can bend those craft sticks to create that space between each line. And then you can move on and add your permanent backing. So I just used two uh, craft sticks. I just cut them down. I didn't even cut both ends. I left one end rounded. And then peel away a piece of tape. And then my handy go-to method for <laughs> using wood glue and hot glue together. Uh, I use the hot glue because it creates instant bond. And I use the wood glue because it provides a better long-term hold because hot glue on wood doesn't always pro like provide the greatest like long-term um, hold. But make sure you get that hot glue on the top and bottom of those uh, backing supports. Otherwise you'll lose your top and bottom pieces. And then I just used um, a little paintbrush, a small paintbrush to add a dab of wood glue to the back of each of the little half wooden balls and secured all of those to the top and bottom of my sign. And then I pulled out some holiday ribbon. I just have a big roll of black and white check ribbon. I made like a figure eight to form a bow. You just kind of secure it there in the center by pinching. And then I secured the center with a skinny piece of green ribbon. I just wrapped it in the middle and tied it with a knot. Cut corners at 45 degree angles and you've got an easy peasy little figure eight bow. And then in order to hang it, I used that green ribbon again, and I initially cut this way too long. I ended up cutting it a lot shorter, so don't do what I did in the video. Look at my picture of my finished product. But I just uh, tied a little knot for a hanger, hot glued the tail ends of the ribbon to the back of my sign, and then I finished it up by hot gluing the bow right on that knot where that hanger is formed. But that's it, a cute little miniature wooden Christmas sign that you can hang on your wall, or I'm probably gonna put this on my Christmas tree this year. Until next time, happy making.